Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, Miss. Good to see you. And I'm very glad that you were waiting for me. So here I am. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 students at all. Yeah, we're getting the attendance. Did you have a good day yesterday? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what did you what do you do, Glenda? Um, sleep. Ah, you <laughs> you were sleeping. <laughs> okay, that's good. So it seems you rest. And what about you, Don Julio? What do you do? I I it was descansando también. Ah, you were relaxing. You were relaxing. Good relax, excellent. relax. Okay. Every day. And uh, Silvia, hello. What did you do yesterday? How was your day? Are you? Did you have? Uh, yeah, she's having trouble with the microphone. Okay, so I would like to ask everybody how was your day yesterday, but I imagine that you have a good day, right? So I have a, a good day, teacher. I had uh, to work yesterday. Ah, okay, good. Let me uh, something. Okay, great, fantastic. Okay, I'm glad that you're doing okay. Okay, guys. So today we're going to we're uh, going to work a little bit a little bit faster. Okay, so in order to cover the presentation that I have, so today um, we're going to work on, on on the twelve. And what's the question over there? What's the question? What's what's the matter? What's, what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, what's what's uh what's the matter? Yeah. So when uh we ask that question, what will be the response? What will be the response? What's the matter? Okay. Are you okay? Are you feeling good? Is something? Yes, I feel it. Okay. Is something wrong? So, so we are going to talk a little, when we say, uh, what's the matter? Uh, I feel a little sick, okay. And what's the matter? Uh, the answer can be positive also. It can be, it can say, oh, no, I'm okay. I just quiet, okay. So in order to respond. So we're going to talk about what are the topics for today? What are the topics? Parts of the body. Part of, uh, parts of the body. Uh -huh. What's next uh, one? Health problem. Health and, problems uh, and advice. Uh, and advice medication. Medication. So that's uh. So today is Friday. So today we have. So there is uh. There is something about um. Uh, what it says uh. What is the the word power. What is the word power? It uh -huh. is it is part of the body. Part of the body, okay. Uh, uh Catherine Andrea, help me with learning objective. Oh, teacher, disculpe que no le escucho bien, tengo problemas de audio. Ah, okay. Uh, help me with the learning objective. Ah, okay. Learn vocabulary for discuss discussing part part of the parts of the body. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And where is the man? Where do you think the man is? Where do you think the man is? Look at the picture over there. He Your is name. a player. Okay. He is. Uh, okay. He's a player. But where is he? Is he at school? Is he at home? Is he at the office? Uh, look at the background of the picture. 
Uh huh. Where do um, you think? Look at the. Uh, what uh, is it? Uh -huh. I look. Uh, I look. Um. Uh. He is a player. Okay, he's a player, but Abel Herminio. My question. I also am asking, where is he? Look, is this water what you see over there? Maybe. Send it. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. The thing is that you do. If you had the manual over there, you would see the whole guy wearing a t-shirt, shorts, sandals, maybe, or swimming suit. Uh, he might be wearing a swimming pool. Okay, he's uh, he's uh, he's at the beach. Let's say that he's at the beach. And what is he doing? What is he doing? He's doing this one. He's, he's doing. He's a uh, um, volleyball. Ah, he's playing. Uh -huh. He's playing volleyball. He's playing volleyball. And uh, what's he wearing? What is he wearing? You see, if you had the manual over there, you had the whole thing. What is he wearing? Look. What is he wearing? He's <clears throat> wearing sandals. He's wearing sandals. Okay. Senia, what else? He's wearing. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He's wearing. Teacher. Ah, he's uh, uh, he's wearing a t-shirt, and he's wearing what? He's wearing. And he's wearing a shirt. Yeah, he's wearing shorts. Okay, he's wearing sandals. Everybody repeat. No microphone. No microphone. Everybody repeat. He is wearing sandals. He's wearing shorts, and he's wearing a t-shirt. Okay. And what's he like? What is he like? Is he? Is he smile? Ah, okay, he's smiling. Okay. Uh huh. Elsa, Elsa, what does he like? What's he like? He's smiling. He looks happy. Okay, we're going to leave it over there. Uh huh. Elsa, Elsa, tell me, tell me. He is tall. Okay, good. He's tall also. Good, excellent. Okay, let's listen and listen to the words over there. Oops, no, sorry. CD3, Unit 12. Okay, because of the time, listen and repeat. No encender microphones, okay? Just repeat uh, behind the microphone, okay? What's the matter? Page 78, Exercise 1, Word Power, Parts of the Body, Part A, Listen and Practice. Head. Head. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Eye. Eye. Ear. Nose. Hair. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers. Hip, leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Okay, were you repeating? Were you repeating? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. What's this? Tell me, open head. your head. This. Head. This. Uh-huh. 
and and this ear and this mount mount and this nose nose okay uh, and this and okay and this finger fingers and, and this arm and this elbow elbow okay and then we have the rest of the body so we have head nose nose mouth okay eyes ears um hand fingers okay and arm elbow and what else chin okay cheek okay and so those are the part of the bodies over there uh, let's see when another for motive laborales no okay thank you very much but you are here so that's important okay so let's continue with uh this one Okay, there is a conversation over there, and the conversation is what it says. Ah, Teacher, the microphone. Okay. I'm back. I'm glad that it was real fast. Okay, so the conversation is what is the conversation? I feel yes. What is it? Yes, Anna Gabriela. What is the conversation? I feel. Yes. What is the title of the conversation? I feel. I feel homesick. I feel, I feel homesick. homesick. Okay, thank you. Es que no se escucha mucho. Tienen los. Eh, micrófonos encendidos, por eso no se logra entender nada. Sí. Uh, sí. Help me with the microphones, please. Okay, now. So, I feel homesick. Okay. Uh, what is uh, the learning, uh, the learning objective, uh, Carla Susena? What is the learning objective? Uh, practice a conversation about Health. Health, yeah. Problems. Yeah. See, see how have uh, plus, plus noun and feel plus, plus adjective. Adjective in context. In context. Okay. So see health problems. And um, so there is a there is a conversation between Brian and Kenichi. Uh, and let's see. What are the guys? What are the people? Uh, Miriam and Janet, tell me, where are the where are the the guys? Where are the people? Um, maybe in the market. Maybe in the market. Okay. What are they doing? Tell me as much as you can about the picture. Okay. Maybe in the supermarket or in the market. Uh, what do you think they are buying? Look over there. Some food. Okay, some food. Okay, so Brian and, and Kanichi is over there. Uh, Roberto Adalberto, uh, you are Brian, I am Kanichi. Let's read the conversation. Oh. Hey, Kanichi. How are you? Uh, uh, no, read the conversation. Uh, You're Brian, uh, I am Kanichi. Oh, Brian. Okay, 
Ajá. Hey, Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? What's the matter? Uh -huh. What's well, the matter? Uh -huh. Well, I have a headache and I have a bucket. Maybe you have the flu. No, I don't think. I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. Okay. Uh, that's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay. So what's the problem with Kanichi? What's the uh, what's uh, what's the problem with him? What's the matter with him? Maybe Kanichi eh, lo que almorzó. Okay, what he ate it was not good. Okay, thank you, Leo. So, someone else. He, he feels homesick. Uh, he feels homesick. Ah, he had a okay. He had a baggage and what else? And headache. And headache. And he like who said one of uh, one of you ladies said he feels homesick. Yes, he feels homesick. Where do you think he lives? Where do you think he lives right now? Is does he live in El Salvador, in Mexico, or in the United States, or in Canada? Upon Ah, he lives in an. Where is he from? Where do you think he's from? He's from Japan. He's from Japan, so he's missing Japan over there. He feels bad because he's missing Japan. So that's that's called homesick. And what is homesick? Homesick is when you live in another country abroad, and uh, you miss. You miss family, you miss food, you miss celebrations, you miss uh, friends, you miss uh, places, okay? That's homesick, okay? So uh, you live in the United States or family or people who live in the United States and they are from El Salvador, they miss El Salvador. And that's called, how do we call? How do we call it? Homesick. Oh, oh, you say, I feel homesick. If you're not from El Salvador, let's say that you're from, from Nicaragua or Guatemala, you say, oh, I feel homesick. I miss my country. Okay, so Kanichi has, a, I guess this, the, the yeah. E, e, Kanichi he has, a, e, he, Kanichi isn't feeling well, okay. And what parts of the body did he mention? You already say. What parts of the body he already mentioned? His head and his back. His head and back, head and back, good. So he mentioned head and back, okay? Good, excellent. And he feeling homesick, he has a headache and a backache. And also what else uh, it's, Oh, what does Brian think is the problem? Look at the conversation. What does Brian think is the problem? The flu. Um, ah, that may, he thinks maybe the flu. Okay, so maybe it's the flu. So, and. There is a, some vocabulary about the conversation. What's, uh, what's the question? What's the question over here? What's the question? What's the matter? What's the matter? And you can ask, what's the what's matter? The problem? What's the what? problem? What? What's the problem? What's wrong? Okay, everybody repeat, no microphones, just repeat. What's the matter? 
What's the problem? What's wrong? Okay. So those are, and the, the other word is, and the other word is, homesick. Homesick. And what is homesick, miss? What is that? Uh -huh. Nostalgia. I'm, I'm happy ha because you're away from home. I'm happy because you're away from home. Thank you. And the other one. And the other one. What is it? That's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, I say, oh, I have a stomach. Okay? And you say, oh, Mr. Lopez, that's too bad. Okay. Or you say, I'm homesick. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, and what is uh, that's too bad? What it will be a definition of what's uh huh, a phrase, a phrase used to express sympathy, uh, uh, sympathy, sympathy, sympathy. Everybody, everybody, sympathy. Sympathy. Remember that at the end we had the TH. Sympathy. Okay. Tongue out. Okay. So these are some important vocabulary. What's the matter? Remember that when you want to ask someone about any problem, you seen the person that you think, no, you seen, you think. The person has a problem, you say, you can ask the person, hey, Mr. Lopez, what's the matter? You can say, what's wrong, Mr. Lopez? And you can say, uh, what's wrong, Susana? What's wrong, Carlos? What's wrong? So you can ask the three questions and the answer will be, and the answer can be, and I feel, I feel that, uh, that's uh -huh. okay. That's okay. I am okay. I, I am okay. okay. I feel uh -huh. sick. I, I have the flu. Sick. I have the flu. I have my stomach. I have the back. Oh, nothing. You can answer also. Oh, nothing much. Just uh, a little quiet. Okay. So there are different ways that you can ask over there. So, and showing sympathy. Okay, <clears throat> and then uh, you had the, the, the grammar focus. What is the grammar? What is the it grammar? It says have uh -huh, plus, plus num, noun feel plus adjective. Okay, plus adjective. So uh, practice using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. So let's see what it is. Page 79, exercise three, grammar focus. Have plus noun, feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel sick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Horrible. Awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to play again. <clears throat> And I, and I would like you to repeat the, the sentences, okay? Or the questions. Page 79, I will exercise. Make, I will make a pause and then you repeat. Three, grammar focus. 
have plus noun, feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? Repeat in a loud voice. No importa que lo escuchen ahí. I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. Okay, the words are, the sentences are, I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? The question is, how do you feel? I feel sick. I feel homesick. I feel better. I feel better. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Adjectives. Negative adjectives. Horrible. Horrible. Awful. Awful. Terrible. Terrible. Miserable. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Fine. Great. Great. Terrific. Terrific. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so negative adjective, the adjective that you hear over there, it was horrible, but then it is sick also. So these negative and positive adjectives, we use it with the word feel, okay? And have, you will use it with a headache, a backache, and some uh, uh, a, a cold, a sore throat, the flu. I have the flu. I have the measles. Okay, because and so notice it that we don't say a flu. We say the flu. There is a list of uh, sickness that we use the the. The flu. Uses of what it says over there? Uses of uh -huh. uses of uses of have and feel and feel plus noun. Feel plus additive. Okay, have plus noun plus a, a health problem. Headache, uh, backache, stomachache, um, a, a, a tooth. Uh, what it, uh, so those are and feel, we use it with the adjectives over there. So that's the thing over there. Okay, complete the sentences, please. Kanichi have. Kanichi have or has? Has. Has. has can, and good. Kanichi has a, a. Read the whole sentence, Senia. Kanichi has a headache. A headache, good. Uh huh.
Uh, Miriam, Janet, number two. And she has a vacation. Good. Uh, Marvin Rudy, number three. Kenichi has the flu. Aha, uh -huh. Kenichi. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Doesn't have. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, but the one that you say, Miss, uh, at the beginning was okay. Only that I remember to, I forgot to tell you that these are sentences from the conversation. So, Miss, what will be the sentence? Kenichi? Kenichi feel homesick. Ah, uh, aha, uh -huh, number C. Kenichi feels, aha. Uh -huh. Kenichi feels homesick. And number three, Kenichi doesn't have the flu. The only thing that he has is a, he has a headache and he has a baggage, okay? Write down the sentences over there, please, because this is not in your, in your material over there. Okay, uses of have and feel. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. And then you have the examples over there. Kenichi has a headache. Um, and Kenichi has a package. Kenichi doesn't have the flu. And Kenichi feels homesick. Please uh, take notes of it, okay? It will help you. Remember that uh, it's important to take notes. Uh, some people with no cameras, please help me with the cameras. Thank you. I'm sorry I haven't mentioned some of you and seen some names that I guess I haven't called you to participate. What I'm going to do is print the list in order to have a handy for you to, for me to call your name. Can we continue, guys? We got a message. Okay, thank you. Okay, good, thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline, for letting me know. <clears throat> Continue. Okay, so those, those are the things that you're going to need over there. Oh, by the way, something really important over there that you said, use this when you think there is a problem with someone. We use what questions? We use? What's the matter? What's the what's matter wrong? or what's wrong? Okay, what's wrong, ma'am? What's wrong, brother? What's wrong, Julio? What's wrong, Maria? What's the matter? And so when you think that is a problem, so that's, that's the way that we use it. This is uh, the time that you can guess about someone's, if someone feels not okay, okay?
And this, uh, how are you and how do you feel? is a general question, okay? The person can say, man, okay. A uh, person can say, I feel lawful. I feel fine. I feel terrific. I feel fantastic. But the person can say also, well, people almost never, people almost never uses the word miserable, okay? Uh, people usually, I feel sick, I feel horrible, I feel awful, I feel terrible. But uh, hardly ever, people hardly never, people use miserable. I feel miserable. <laughs> so that's that's the only thing. Okay. There you have some, what are these? What are these? He has a package. He has a package, yes. These are um, illness, uh, illness, so common health problems. Okay, let's listen. Page 79, exercise three, part A. Listen and practice. He has a backache. Okay, we're saying complete sentences over there. Okay, he has a backache. Number two, what will be the sentence? What will be the sentence? Number two. He has an an irritation. He, he, he has an average, yes. Remember, remember that when uh, we start, the noun start with a, a, a consonant sound, we use a. Oh. And when we start with a vowel sound, we use an. An average, okay, what else? Uh, an average, a toothed, and so on. Okay, let's do it. He has an earache. She has a headache. He has a stomach ache. He has a toothache. She has a cold. He has a cough. She has a fever. He has the flu. She has dry eyes. He has a sore throat. Okay, this one is she has a fever and he has, okay, so but Okay, so now listen and repeat. I will not make a pause. I will let the, the audio uh, run, okay? Try to repeat after each sentence. Remember, no microphones. Aquí los estoy viendo con lo que tiene cámara encendida, okay? So please help me with the rest. Page 79, exercise three, part A. Listen and practice. He has a backache. He has a backache. He has an earache. He has an earache. She has a headache. He has a stomach ache. He has a toothache. She has a cold. He has a cough. She has a fever. He has the flu. She has dry eyes. He has a sore throat. Okay, you can say in your manual, this is sore eyes. I, I put both, okay? And the other is sore eyes is uh, sore is pain, dolor. So he has a sore eyes. He has dry, she has dry eyes, okay? Okay, um, uh, number one, what's, the, what's wrong with him? He has a backache. He has a backache. Number two, Crisia Elizabeth. What's wrong with him? Crisia? He has an irritation. He has an irritation. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Luis, number three. What, what's wrong with her? Luis, oops. Luis, 
Ah, uh, maybe. Okay. Um, uh, Jacqueline Lorena, number three. What's wrong with her? She, she has a headache. He has a headache. Okay, good. And uh, minor. What's wrong with him? Number number four. He has a stomachache. A stomachache. Carla Susena, number five. Uh, what's wrong with him? He has a two shirts. He has so... a two set. Okay, he has a two set. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, anyway, I will send you the the audio in order for you to practice. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so what's the matter? And I feel, what is the conversation? What is the conversation? Hey guys, give me, give me a second. Hello, I'm sorry, my kidding was bothering over here. <laughs> okay, my gatito. Okay, so, okay, so uh, what is the conversation? Uh, Ana Gabriela, what's the matter? I have terribly hate days. Uh, headache, headache. He I have Hedic. a terrible headache. Uh -huh. Hedic. How do you feel? I feel well, thanks. Okay. Uh, Catherine, uh, what's the matter? You I have a. I use any of this one. I have a cold. Ah, okay. And how do you feel? I feel well. Thanks. Okay, I feel well. Thanks. Okay, so anyway, okay, guys. So I think here we're uh, going to we're having some medications. Okay, what is the medic? What are the medications? Common. Yes. Aspirin. Okay, come on. Uh, let's see. Let me see. Uh, Nubia, help me with the learning objective. Learn the name of com common, mm -hmm. common? common medication. Medication. Common medication for health problems. For health problems. Very good. Excellent. Okay, listen, and you will see a check. So it's the one that I mentioned. Page 80, exercise five, snapshot. Common medications. Listen and practice. Cough syrup, cold pills, antacid, muscle cream, cough drops, eye drops, aspirin, Nasal spray. Okay. Uh, listen again and repeat. Okay. Also, I will send you this out. Page 80. X Ready? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Exercise 5. Snapshot. Common medications. Listen and practice. Cough syrup. Cold pills. Antacid. Muscle cream. Cough drops. Eye drops. Aspirin. Nasal spray. 
Okay, we have in the order that they are antiacid, aspirins, muscle green, cough syrus, cut drops, cold pills, eye drops, nasal spray. So that's the ones that we have it over there. Let me see. Page 80, exercise five, snapshot. Common medications. Listen and practice. Cough syrup, cold pills, antacid, muscle cream, Cough drops, eye drops, aspirin, nasal spray. Okay, those are common medications. Now, where is the woman? Where is the woman? She is she's a doctor. a doctor. Okay, uh huh. Okay, she's a doctor, miss. Uh huh. She is a sick. Okay, she's sick. What else? Uh, someone else? What else, ladies? She's a patient. Okay, she's a patient. Okay, good. And what else? Another way that you can say that she's sick. Uh, Yes, whatever you say, okay, for, uh, okay. Okay, no problem, thank you. Another way, so she's sick, she's a patient. She does, you can say also, she doesn't feel well. Okay, let's see, let's see. What is the doctor saying? Page 81, exercise six. Conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. One more time. Listen to the intonation of the conversation from the doctor and from the patient, okay? Page 81, exercise six, conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay. So we're developing skills for a specific information. And uh, in your own words, let's see, Tatiana Michelle, in your own words, what's wrong with the woman? I am is so. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Tired. What else? Excited? Ah, she's excited. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, anything else, Tatiana? Anything else?
Okay, Crisia Elizabeth. What else uh, is wrong with the woman? What else do you can say about the woman in your own words? Uh -huh. May I? Yes. Uh, she say uh, so tired. Okay, she says uh -huh. that uh, she's tired. Yeah. She can't sleep at night. She can't sleep at night. Um, it's exactly. Is he? I. Uh, she is ex exhausted. Okay, she's exhausted. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, what about the doctor? Someone else. What did the doctor says? One of you girls, ladies. I'm sorry that I call you girls, okay? Ladies, what does the doctor says? In your own words, in general. I don't drink. Okay, don't drink what? Uh, Coffee. Uh -huh. Tea. Okay. Or soda. Or soda. Don't drink uh, coffee, tea, or soda. And what is the prescription that she gives? Mm -hmm. Someone else. Or you, me, miss. What is the, pre the prescription? They um, won't be seen night after dinner. Okay, they're going to uh, give some pills and uh, to have it after dinner. Okay, we will go back to the conversation in a few minutes. Okay, what is this, uh, the pronunciation? What is the pronunciation? Sentence? Sentence and stress, okay, uh-huh. Read the, read the learning objective, miss. Sentence. Um, what do you say? Enton, enton. Entonation. Okay. Entonations. Okay. Sentence. Okay. Entonations. Okay. Sentence. Entonation. Learning. Oh, okay. Okay. Sentence and entonation. Good. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Okay. And we're going to notice the intonation of this sent this these are not sentences by the way these are uh common uh, these are orders and this these are imperatives okay let's see what is imperative let's listen first page 81 exercise 8 pronunciation sentence intonation part a listen and practice notice the intonation in these sentences Take some aspirin. Try these eye drops. Use some muscle cream. Don't drink coffee. Don't work too hard. Don't exercise this week. Okay, one more time. I will make a pause and you repeat. Okay, no importa que lo escuchen ahí. So, en casa. Page 81, exercise 8. Pronunciation, sentence intonation, part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these sentences. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Repeat in a loud voice. Try these eye drops. Oops, try these eye drops. Sorry, again. Page 81, exercise 8, pronunciation. Sentence intonation, part A. Listen and practice. Okay, Notice listen. Notice the intonation in these sentences. Listen and repeat. Take some aspirin. Try these eye drops.
Use some muscle cream. Don't drink coffee. Don't work too hard. Don't exercise this week. Okay, these are imperatives. The, these words that we were practicing, they are imperative. What is, a, what is an imperative? Look over there. Uh, no time, so no copy, okay? So yo les mando esto. Imperative verbs are verbs that create imperative sentence, which give, pay attention, commands, instructions, or express requests or directives. For example, it's very common that in school we say, please close the door. Open the door, close the window, okay? Pay attention, write down, take notes, okay? Those, I am, when I say, when I tell you, cuando le digo, take notes, I'm, I'm using imperative. So the doctor says, take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed, drink lots of liquids. Vea, don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink sodas. So these ones are imperatives. So imperatives are given directions. Okay. Mientras ustedes hacen eso, so... Uh, complete the imperatives over there. Voy a tomar la asistencia, okay? Number one, call a dentist. Number two, don't worry. What would be number three? Take, Take two aspirins. Take two aspirins. Take uh, two aspirins, yes, okay? Meanwhile, ustedes lo hacen, yo voy a pasar asistencia. Please say, uh, I'm here or present. Abel Herminio Méndez. Present, Mr. Ana Gabriel Alvarenga. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre. Elsa Cecilia Carranza Rodríguez. Present. Emily de Los Ángeles Villatoro Argueta. Emily. Glenda Elizabeth Antillón Orellana. Present, Mr. Jacqueline Lorena Campos Chávez. Present, teacher. Julio Antonio Orantes Her 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 Herrera. Present, teacher. Karen Vanessa Aguilar Rom uh, Romero. Carla Susana Ángel López. Present. And uh, Catherine Andrea Sanchez Diaz. Present teacher. Kimberly Noemi Navarrete Amaya. Eh, Crisia Elizabeth Portillo Chávez. Present. Luis Edenilson Diaz Valles. Luis. Eh, uh, por favor, no escribir. Eh, Marilyn Ruby Mulato. Present. Eh, Marvin Rudy Mulato Gaitán. Present. Minor Alexander Avelar Avelar. Present. Miriam Janet Villalobos Segovia. Present. Eh, Nubia Beatriz Rivas Salvarenga. Present teacher. Roberto Adalberto García González. Present. Eh, Silvia Andrea Córdoba Sarabia. Present. Tatiana Michelle Pineda Gaitán. Present. And uh, Senia Esmeralda Chávez. Present teacher. 
Ok, todavía estoy presentando la, la, la presentación, right? What would be number four? Not go to school. Ah, don't go to school. Ok, so when we use uh, negative uh, imperatives, we use uh, the contraction don't. Ok, so we, uh, we do not use do not go. We say don't go, don't try, don't drink, don't drive, uh, don't take the bus, okay? Number five, what would be? Listen to relaxing music. And listen to relaxing music, good. A doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor. See a doctor. Uh, coffee. No drink. No drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Remember the negative, don't drink coffee. Okay, don't drink coffee. Don't any, drink. any any, candy? Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Good. Eh, en Spanish, ¿les ha sido de utilidad los audios que les envié? ¿Están practicando? Are you practicing? Yes? Yes. Please. Take an advance on those those audios, okay? I send it for you. These are for you to get strong in English, okay? So see you in on Monday. We cover all the things for you. Please work on the platform. Terminen su tarea en la plataforma para por la otra semana poder trabajar en la segunda semana, okay? So have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Hope you have a good Relaxing weekend. Bye. 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 See you on Monday.